two brothers are telling their stories of sexual abuse at the hands of Father Michael Flager 40 years ago. Yes, I was in his room at Precious Blood. He grabbed my manhood. I got up, took a shower, and when I came out of the shower, he gave me a pair of his brief underwear to put on, and I laid back down and went to sleep. Now in their early 60s, the brothers never spoke of Flager's abuse, even with each other, until recently. He would encourage me to touch him, but I, I resisted, and there were times that I just pretended to be asleep. You know, I'm not gonna, I didn't want to engage, I can tell you that. I, I just wanted to survive it. Wishing to remain anonymous, the two alleged the abuse began when they were in their early teens at the now closed Precious Blood Parish, where Flager was a priest at the time before he transferred to St. Sabina in 1981. One of the brothers decided to break his silence after seeing Cardinal Wilton Gregory on the news. And there is nothing that you may do, may say, that will ever rip you from the heart of this church. That brother confronted Flager in a letter in which he demanded $20,000, a demand he says was not about money. I asked for money because I had a plan. When I prayed about this and how I was going to do this, if he sent me some money, that was an admission of guilt. That was going to be how I was going to have proof. He didn't even answer. Some parishioners at St. Sabina are claiming these allegations are not true. And not once have I felt uncomfortable or seen anything that would make me question this man's character. We've gone on vacations together. I mean, I've been around this man for 45 years and never has he touched me inappropriately. Never has he given me an inappropriate handshake. Never has he given me an inappropriate hug. One Chicago priest, under condition of anonymity, told Church Militant he wasn't surprised by the allegations against Flager. If you look closely at the course of his uh, many years as a priest, He's always been out there in left field, doing his own thing at St. Sabina. As to the connection with Cardinal Wilton Gregory, Father explained Gregory was ordained a Chicago priest in 1973 and was appointed Auxiliary Bishop for the Windy City on Halloween in 1983. He was consecrated by notorious Cardinal Joseph Bernadine. These group of individuals that hung close back in those days in the early 80s with Bernadine, you know, whether it's Flager or uh, Wilton Gregory, there were some clear customers that were way too close to Cardinal Bernadine and uh, associated with him. Flager was first accused of abuse in early January and put on leave. With the two brothers coming forward, he's now facing three official allegations. William Mahoney, Church Militant, Detroit.